Hi, I'm Tricia, a California organic gardener. Have you ever wished that you had some garden fairies to help you with your insect pests? Well, today I'm going to introduce you to some. They're called beneficial insects. The kind of beneficial insects that I'm going to release today are the general predator type. You're familiar with them. Ladybugs, praying mantids, and green lacewings. And these garden fairies will eat just about any pesky insect in your garden. Release the ladybugs either in the early morning or in the cool of the evening and never in the direct sunlight in the middle of the day. And you can release them as soon as you have some foliage on your plants and you can release them all throughout the season. Sprinkle or water the area that you're going to release them. They may be thirsty after their long trip. You also don't have to release all of them at the same time. You can release a few and then refrigerate the rest and use them in other areas as needed. Praying mantids are another general predator and they come in this little egg case. They don't go after pests like ladybugs do. They prefer to sit and ambush them. The baby mantids will hatch all throughout the season, but you want to put them out in early spring. Just use a needle and thread to hang your egg case in the garden. And they'll stick around as long as there's enough food for them to eat. And they'll eat anything that's smaller than them. You want to hang it about two feet from the ground and you can put a little cooking oil on the string to prevent the ants from getting to it. Green lacewing larvae are probably one of the best general predators available. Green lacewing larvae eat aphids, thrips, mealybugs, whiteflies, red spider mites, and the list goes on. A single larva can eat as many as 200 pests in one day. It's best to release the lacewing larva early in the season or any time of year in the greenhouse. These lacewing larvae are almost microscopic and they come packaged in these rice holes. Release them immediately upon receipt or else they might eat each other. If you order the lacewing eggs, they'll arrive and they'll be about three to five days away from hatching. When you see these little green eggs start to turn gray, they're just about ready to hatch and that's time to release them. Again, you want to release the lacewing larva and egg either in the early morning or the cool of the evening. The adult lacewings feed on nectar and pollen. So if you want them to stick around and lay their eggs in your garden, make sure you have some flowers for them to feed on. Your beneficial insects will help you the most if you release them early in the season before there's any major pest problem. So let your garden fairies help you and grow organic for life.